your watch. It's giving me a day. Good morning. Is it? I even took her in. What did she do? Took you in. Precisely. Of course, I never did like that, Carol. You said you did. I didn't like her. I pitied her. My God, she's as rough as a bear's behind. Hey. Hi. <clears throat> Shop! Oh, this is stupid. <clears throat> I think Viv's a bit upset. Look, do you... Uh, do you fancy meeting me in the wool pack tonight? Yeah. Can I pay for this? Oh, you'll have to wait for Mum. She's upset. It's all gathered. Can you give me a lift? What? I'm going to be late, so... Please. All right, come on. Shop. I hope you intended paying for that. All clear. We haven't done anything to be ashamed of, Eric. No. You were a perfect gentleman. Yes, well, I, I suppose I was. And you sleeping on the sofa while I had the bed. Very considerate. Well, let me see. At least I could do, eh? How is your back? Oh, no, don't. <laughs> ah, yeah, I at it again, Eric Pollard. No wonder you've grey hair and you're thin as a lass. It's all perfectly innocent. Now, he does his innocent. He was very gallant, a Prince Charming. Thank you. Well, uh, not long since, my Seth copped him, flitting from charity dingles at Sparrow's Cough. Eric? Uh, that's typical of you, eh? Typical of this place. You try and help somebody along the way and they just turn it against you. How would you know? Mm. You're going to be late for work. Yeah, well, maybe because I didn't get to sleep till gone four. Mm. Maybe you've got a guilty conscience. Actually, I was thinking about you and Viv falling out. I know. God, she's got a really vicious streak, she has. You should have had her going on at me. What'd you expect? I mean, first you let her down about the shop, and then to top it all, you could zump her over at Lodging House. Exclusive country hotel. Well, however you dress it up, you did the dirty on her. I thought you were supposed to be on my side. I just like being straight with folk, that's all. Oh, yeah. I mean, you straight with Vic when you had that fling with Viv. Maybe that's the problem. You've still got a soft spot for her. Maybe you wanted to move into the B&B with her. Oh. Oh, Lisa, love. Now, mind your bike. Ken, just wheel that in for her. I'm security. It ain't a pair of you to do this, any road. Look, either you lot help me hunt this in or you can go and get dinner sorted. A family union meeting? Ah, we're working to rule. Any kind of work would be an improvement. <laughs> Hear that, Lisa? Let's get your finger out. You'll be wearing a pair of concrete wellies if you don't button it. Where's Jason? Skiving? He's going to get some materials. Ah. <laughs> More expense. And I don't want any of this lot walking tonight. No, boss. Hey, Eric. Do we get a uh, overtime for working now? <laughs> overtime? I'm not even convinced you're doing your night work properly. And I should be checking. He's got your card marked. You reckon? No work. You've got them mad eyes. Try thinking of someone else. You what? It's what I do. Oh, a great idea. I'll just go for a brisk walk in the Dales and stop and have a nice pub lunch. You might be doing just that this time next week. This is as far as I can see. Hey, your lads are coming to visit. Don't let them see you like this. I mean, think how bad they must be feeling. Is it all right, Ben? Me going earlier to collect Victoria after school. They've gone visiting. Please yourself. Thanks. I'm glad about what's happened over the shop. What, that my dreams have gone up in a puff of smoke? No, not that. Not really. I might be being selfish, but you're the best boss someone could have. Am I? You've taught me everything I know about the retail industry. You've always treated me fairly. Oh, thank you, Emily. 
You're a very good worker. One of the few people I can really trust, friends and family included. Between you and me, I think Carol's a bit of a flyby night. Yes, she is. Not the sort to gain customer respect. No, you're right there. She'd be after anything in pants. No standards. I mean, customers like a bit of intelligent conversation, but what would they get from that slapper? Does my bum look big in these stretch pants? Yes, it does, Carol, you old tart. <laughs> There's a hole in your bucket, dear Henry. What? Never mind. You look nice. Like a framed picture. Oh, he's a poet. Getting down the woolly later? Yeah. No. i best not. I'm working. The pollard's giving me stick. Will you miss me? No. Hey! Stop harassing him. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't dream of it. You got any twine, eh? What's up? You frighten a rat or run up your cakes? <laughs> well, I need more than that. How many britches legs have you got? Oh, it's not for that. Oh, what are you doing? Eh? Knitting a vest? Fishing net? A oh, security net. Hmm? I don't know what goes on in that bonce of yours. Well, then again, I'd sooner not. Has she gone yet? Can't we discuss this? Tell her I'll have her done for trespass. She always was touchy. She's got good reason. I know. The years haven't been kind to her. What? It's jealousy. I heard that. It's all right, Mrs Up. I'll deal with this. <laughs> you? All I can say is I don't have many friends. <laughs> it's hardly surprising. I wouldn't want any if they were as disloyal and underhand as you've been to Mrs Hope. You cheeky little So much. I'd be grateful if you kindly vacate the premises. Or else? I'm married into a likeable but sometimes rumbustuous family. The Dinkles. Likeable? They're the scum of the earth. Who don't like seeing me upset? Country bumpkins. Emily, you are a star. Can I have a cup of tea, please? I need to sit down. Yeah. What's that? Your idea of interior decoration? Oh, I've seen worse on those makeover programmes on box. <laughs> you got a point. I don't think Eric Pollard will appreciate it. I'm doing it for him. Mine, Zach! Hey, what's up? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like that, though! Hey, it works. <laughs> I weren't doing a minute, you daft Johnny! <laughs> right on me, Napper! <laughs> at the gate. I hope they let you have it. Victoria sends a love. How is she? No, she's fine. The solicitor says the boys were really good when she ran through the evidence with them. Yeah, she said. I just wish you didn't have to go through it, lads. So do I. You shouldn't, Dad. Why not? Because you didn't do anything wrong. You're going to get away with it, then? Can we go now? We brought his suit and that. Your dad really needs you now, Rob. I need my mum, but she's not here, is she? All the more reason to stick together, then. It's all right, Cathy. This isn't the place for kids to hang around. There you are. Can we go now, please? No. What good's this doing? Dad didn't do it. Well, who did then? Well, they're bound to find out, aren't they? It's not going to bring her back, though. No. But at least it can be back home with us. All oh, right. So someone's just going to stand up and say, I did it. They might. They aren't going to, Andy. 
You're innocent. You shouldn't be in here. Yeah, well, let's hope the courts see it like that. But what if someone told them? Confessed? Might be a good time to take him back now, Kath. It's all a bit too much for him, I think, Jack. Don't worry. It should be me in here, Dad. It wouldn't solve anything if you and me swapped places. You could be at home with Robert and Victoria, or he'd know it wasn't you. I want to be at home with all three of you. Why are you coming from me, Dad? It's not that I'm just... Because <sighs> I love you. You don't know me, but I feel I know you, you naughty little thing. <laughs> it's not funny. I had to burn some of the replies that were disgusting. <laughs> you should have saved them for me. It must be all those farmers who've been stuck in all those long winter nights. It's definitely not Ed. <laughs> no. I'm never going to see him again. You don't know that. Fate has decided. It threw us together and now it's split us apart. Get the phone book. Who are you going to call? Fate. Go on. And now you know what she's like. I hope you've told her where to get off. Sorry. Phone book. Well? It's got nothing to do with it. Well, of course it has. How can you shack up with a two-faced trollop like that? Found it. By the way, I'll be going to get Victoria in a bit. Look, I think it had just gone so far down the line that Carol couldn't say. She didn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, how sensitive of her. Who are you calling? Omnibus Enterprises. Who's that? It's where it works. It's obvious, isn't it? Is it? You'll see. The finger of fate is about to touch you, Emily Dingle. Hello, can I speak to Ed, please? Edward. I don't know his second name. He's young and handsome. What do you mean you haven't got an Ed, Edward or Eddie? You must have. Morons. It wasn't him. No, a bit embarrassing. That's it, then. At least you tried. Hey, plenty more fish in the sea. I really thought Butch had chosen him for me. She sent you here to get round me, ain't she? No, I'm not a patsy. Who says? You want her off your hands and back in here? No. Mine. Things aren't exactly ideal at the cottage. Yeah, I bet. Not with her there. Look, can't I just send her across? See if you can sort things out. She's already tried. Please. Go on, then. Now, listen, Jack. Forget about all the big talk that you're in here. Didn't one of them don't get wound up before they go into the dock? Even me. Doesn't matter how many times you've been through it before. Have you ever felt... trapped? Completely, totally trapped. You know, where your head aches, trying to find a way out. But there isn't one. Well, only one. How do you mean? Don't talk so daft. Haven't you ever thought about it? Give over. I spent half my life in dumps like this. You and me both know it in tall table tennis and colour tenny. Of course I have. What stopped you? It's always a new day, even in here. Besides, you've got them three smashing kids to consider. I've heard tell you've upset Mrs Hope. It was a misunderstanding, that's all. Betty Eggleton were right about you when you first tipped up here. What did they say? Fur coat, no drawers. I tell you what, you sour-faced old crone. If I had taken over the shop, I wouldn't have allowed you in. Standing there at the counter, nosing into other people's business with an expression on your face that would turn milk into cheese. It doesn't alter the fact that I'm still a valued customer, and I doubt they'll have the welcome mat out for you. Vivian and I go back a long way. A little misunderstanding like this won't end our friendship. In fact, 
She's invited me over. Oi! We got these! What do you think you are doing? What are you doing? What do you think? I will slap your backside. Wait till I tell your mother. You won't have to. <laughs> you might as well not wear any looking at the size of these. <laughs> Yes. Anything I do seems to be gossip-worthy, but good old Jack Sugden bumps off his missus and not a murmur. Give it a rest. That's a terrible thing to say. It's a terrible thing to do. Where are you going, Eric? Work. I'm sure he didn't mean anything. He's got a point, though. What do you mean? All men who try to own their wives, they stop at nothing to keep them in control. Hang on. You hardly know Jack. He's a decent fella. Is he? How do we know what goes on behind closed doors? Most murders aren't committed by dark strangers, you know. It's family members, so-called loved ones. You've got a poor view of folk, love. It's a fact, sir. Don't you think you might be seeing things in black and white terms? A woman's dead. There's not much room for grey areas, is there? Well, Jack is a decent person, but even decent people are driven to do desperate things. I mean, there's no excuse for it, but there are reasons. When Manda did what she did to me... What? Decided she wasn't happy with you? That's unfair. No, I mean, she's right. Yeah, exactly that. Well, I thought my life was over and I wanted it to be, but then I turned that hatred back round onto her and I just hated her for a bit. You didn't kill her, though, Paddy. Well, no, of course I didn't. For the wildlife. <laughs> time, too, when your average forester didn't want... What's that? Oh, oh, this is alarm system. It'll be a fox or something. Aye, I'll go and see it off. Wrong. Not that I approved of Sarah going off with you. And then look where that got. Well, nobody knew Jack was going to do something like that, did they? Yeah, but he did, though, didn't he? Because I saw him in the barn and OK. You... OK. Just save it for next week, yeah? Well, I better be off. No, let me get you another one. The night is still young. <laughs> Won't be by the time I've finished my marking. See you. Bye. Bye. That's the shortest date on record. Yeah, even for me. Still, at least we're talking again. Yeah. She's a bit feisty, isn't she? I thought you liked feisty women. I do. It's just that you can get too much of a good thing. Anyone going to court on Monday? I am. Ah, same as that, Bear. Well, you find out who your friends are at times like this. Can I have a lift? Why? I want to go. Oh, to support Jack. I think that's lovely. Support him? Hasn't that husband of yours taught you an eye for an eye? Sorry? Why do you want to go, then? To barrack him when he goes in. <sighs> They're not so silent majority. Come on, then. Uh, give the lad a break. Oh, well. If nobody will take me, I'm not going. He's not worth the bus fare. I still think the rope's too good for somebody who's done something like he has. It's time we were making a move. You could have killed him. That's all when he was stiff on his hands. I was only doing my duty. I mean, he should give me a productivity bonus. You knew it was him. He's coming too. Do you want me to hit him again? Don't you dare! Make yourself scared. Go on. Where am I? The dingles. <sighs> it's a nightmare. Well, that's gratitude. <gasps> Somebody hit me. Did the hackers like that? You must have had a nasty fall. My head's all prickly. You'll be all right when you get these peas on your head. <gasps> How is he? 
scared to death, just like the kids. Court's never a nice experience. Neither should it be. Not even when an innocent man's appearing? The local constabulary must have good evidence, isn't that right? If you say so, Edna. They'll do out to get a conviction. There's a witness. Yeah, but he's hardly impartial, is he? Well, the fact is, none of us can be 100% sure that Jack is innocent. Alan? Well, how can we be? What about you, Diane? Terry? Well, if he does get sent down, the kids will have lost more than one parent, won't they? You're talking as if he is guilty. I wish you lot could hear yourselves. You're as bad as the gutter press, judging people on the basis of idle chat and rumour. And as for some of his so-called friends, the real thing starts on Monday, and no amount of gossip, whether well-intentioned or malicious, will change anything. Jack Sugden is innocent. Well, you can't say that. Till he's proved guilty. And if any of you can't accept that, then we might as well just have lynch mobs. Guilty or innocent, I suggest you pray for him. And those kids. Rob? Robert. 